Hello YouTube, it is May 19th, 2020. A little update on Diva Wan, honey. We finally, after three long weeks, I called them yesterday because when I looked on the site, it, it showed that it was two pending things. Like they still is giving me updates from the unemployment office because you know you had to file for unemployment to qualify for PUA, right? And when they told me that it was still some dilemma, and it, you know they don't disperse your card and payment out until 10 days out, I said, oh, damn. Bitch, go. I, I already knew I was going to be waiting for my darn old shit um, towards, like, the 25th, 26th. Now it's like, oh, God, I ain't going to have my shit to June, honey. I'm trying to get the fuck up out of here. A girl trying to get my business and stuff really um, off the ground. And I and I actually was on a live stream last night, and I'll tell y'all about that in a moment. But, honey, I called them up, honey, 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to get on first. So somebody got in contact with me, then cut the phone off. I said, hot oh, damn, here they go with this bullshit, honey. And, like, darn on the call disconnected. So I quickly called back, waited, on like, waited for, like, 10 minutes. Mind you, I called 8 o'clock in the morning as soon as they opened, and I still was on the 10-minute hold. Finally got through to somebody, and they told me that I was immediately proved that that was an error on the thing that they must be showing for the uh, unemployment. And later on that day, honey, my, uh, amongst all my purchases that's been coming out this week, y'all know I've been shopping up a storm. Um, very essential purchases though that I need. You know, more you know wax sticks and stuff. So when we do open, hopefully in three more days. I would be prepared. Also, I need to get me some more. Um, I got my mask and stuff, but I need to get me some gloves. I'm running short on that. I got my um, parchment papers and all of that. Uh, personal uh, stuff, you know, my sugar scrubs and all that. So when I go get my wax, honey, I'll be probably, you know, pre-exfoliating and my hair be easy to come up as well. You know, you can't, you can't be darn on recommending wax services to everybody else and you don't darn on follow your own mantra. It's like, honey, you can't be darn on hair of your damn self and darn on be uh, advocating for darn on wax removal. It's like, that's sort of contradictory. So I'm waiting to, that for my other darn on uh, beauticians uh, for us to all be able to open up because soon as the, uh, we are able to open up, honey, I'm running to my darn old beautician, just like some of y'all are going to be running to me, honey. So, and yeah, could I do it myself? Yeah. But I done got lazy and less flexible. I, I do really need to improve back on my flexibility. But maybe that's to be uh, when I get into this house. I, I have more time to exercise and stuff. Because my hours are very limited with dealing with this dragon and her random days that she wants to take off. And then I think they they do give Memorial Day off, honey. So it's like, ugh. got to deal with a darn old three-day weekend. With her. And then it's like, Lord forbid if she takes off Friday. And that's how she tend to do it. Whenever it's a holiday falls on Monday, the bitch wants to always take off on that Friday. And I got to deal with her face for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Oh, God. But on a more positive note, though, I have finally got my car, finally got my approval, and now I'm in a dilemma because I, I've been watching um Stormy Wellington. If y'all don't know who Stormy Wellington is, she's like the top darn on uh, successful uh, person in total life changes. I'm not a part of the company, but I still follow her for the motivational speeches and stuff, and uh, she did a brilliant live stream with somebody last night that wasn't a part of the company. I, this was the first um, live stream call that wasn't um, surrounded by total life changes. It was just giving a lot of business advice. And it made me rethink about how I'm thinking about opening minds. You know, I was telling y'all about searching for, you know, business locations and stuff. Because at this point in Fayetteville, hell, it's hard as hell to try to find a decent darn gone booth rental. It's, it's like, I might as well try to go through just getting my credit score up and darn going, um, getting a, um, a place to darn going. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. That was a notification. Um, anyways, I need to get my business, get my credit score up and stuff and just get me up my own property at this point. That's what I'm thinking. But then I said, wait a minute. I'm hearing about all these deductions. Now, mind you, I went to school for marketing. I know about the typical deductions with the car, like 
okay, if you travel, you get so many uh, uh, cash back per mile, all this, that, and the third. But I did not know that you can get up to ten thousand dollars of your car if like if you go to purchase a car i thought if it was for if you already had a car i didn't know if you utilize your car for any part of advertisement towards your business you can actually if you're under a w4 that you can actually in a limited liability company that you can actually have it set up where ten thousand dollars of that uh car that you paid up for so that up to ten thousand dollars in payments that you made throughout that year you can actually get reimbursed on your taxes honey i was like okay talk more to me honey then she was telling me about how strippers end up getting darn on um i'm like wait a minute you telling me darn on strippers actually can get darn on reimbursements on their income tax for breast implants so that got me to think, and I'm like, okay, honey, that's going to give a lot of bitches some darn gone hype over at the OnlyFans. You already got Beyonce darn gone hyped up the company. Then you now got Miss darn gone, uh, Courtney Epps, honey, Courtney Epps tax. I'll leave her information down below. Uh, talking about darn gone stripper. She's helped darn gone strippers darn gone get qualified for tax returns. No, actually, I don't think she did it personally. I think she heard about, uh, strippers, uh, being able to do that, but she, um, she's familiar with the legalities of how that works as long as you can show that it is profitable for your business that you're writing on so i'm thinking i was like well damn i'm an esthetician and y'all know i've been talking about my jacked up teeth for the longest and now that i got this money here i was about to fly to the darn on dentist and see about uh payment arrangements for me to get a darn on replacement um porcelain darn on you know crown or whatever for this area right here and they might have to take this tooth out and put one too so i might have to get two of them um because i think for me to qualify for the extraction uh, you know for the um for it to be covered under insurance because typically it's considered cosmetic but if they're removing one or more tooth in the process they can actually um give you a crown or more for free as long as a, a, a actual tooth that's still intact is being taken out in the process so I'm thinking that they could take this one and give me a replacement right here and a replacement right there. But that you know that shit's costing you know one tooth alone is about fifteen two thousand dollars. That's not even including the extraction cost. That's not even including the cleaning cost. That's not even including the bleaching cost. And then you know the teeth got to be you know your regular teeth got to match up with the likeness of the replacement um porcelain um implant so and obviously with the way my teeth are veneers is not i, I don't think veneers will be the way to go because it's like i got a whole situation right here uh this one right here like i don't think veneers will be the way to go and then i ain't trying to look like everybody like i still want some subtle imperfection it's like uh -uh. i ain't trying to have that you know that plate look going on like darn on Nene Leak, sonny. I ain't trying to be looking like Mrs. Potato Head out this bitch. Uh-uh. I ain't trying to have that, you know, Bobby. I Bobby! Bobby, I love you! Honey, Bobby Lights, baby. I love you, darling. But I ain't trying to have what you was having in the beginning. That Uh-uh. I ain't trying to have my mouth open. No, no. So it's like, uh-uh. Let my shit still look natural as possible. Not too, not whiter than the whites of my eyes. Not darn on plate, uh, that darn on Nene Leaks, darn on white. Uh, no. So once I find out that, wait a minute, I might can darn on get my darn on teeth expenses reimbursed to me. If I want to be coming out of darn on money uh, for my darn on teeth and shit, I can darn on get my teeth reimbursed to me. And then she, you know, she related it back to total life changes. How now I didn't know this about darn on home base but that you can get the darn on purchases that you're making to yourself at, at, at uh, reimbursed. It is deemed as a form of advertisement because you're promoting the business, even if you don't recruit nobody in. If you show the uh, propensity of trying to at least recruit people in. You can darn on basically just take the products and do it for your own weight loss or weight gain or 
health and wellness, whatever you're using total life changes for, and still get a darn on general tax write off in general. I said, get the hell out. So I was like, now nah, she know gave me multiple ideas. It's like now I'm getting more worn down to get into this darn on TLC. And it's like now you know gave me a way where I can darn gonna make a profit off this shit. Where I don't, where if I don't even refer one person in to the actual business opportunity. Now, granted, you know a girl's gonna get some people on the retail at the minimum. Um, I own this. I, I still wondering if I want to do the uh the multi level marketing side. We'll see, honey. Um, they they wear me down more by the day. But when she said that, honey. I say, you know what? When this darn going uh sample of this uh Nutriburst comes, and if I indeed like it, honey, I'm a D signing up. Just off of the fact that she said that I can get reimbursed because it's under a business structure. So if I indeed love the product, if I'm just recommending it, I can darn on utilize that as a tax write-off so that the monthly expenses, the fees of me having to get a minimum of two products and stuff per month to and maintain my membership, all that, all that's reimbursed. And I get the fast start bonus. And I get the, you know, they unlock the binary pay. And then the group check match and all that. I said, mm. And I now got over a, a, a good chunk of change at my disposal. Child, I'd be a damn fool if I don't take advantage of this darn old opportunity, baby. I'd be, I'd be a damn fool, especially in, in this time where, you know, aesthetics is not guaranteed because, honey, if, if this shit does a resurgence in the fall, which they already predicting, it, it's like, what am I going to do then? What am I going to do then? Now, granted that hopefully by then I at least have my website up and uh, I'd be, be able to do my pro push my products and stuff, but it's like, hmm. I, I I still need at least one more uh, another string of income for me not being able to see certain uh, clients to come in to get the product. Now, granted, I also got drop shipping option, but still, I I, I need to be more secure. So for that reason right there, I'm definitely. Looking more into TLC. Definitely looking into it for sure. But now, my wheels are turning about how she said about all the benefits of the S corporation and how you get to pay yourself as an employee and that takes away from the business expense and that's ultimate more savings right there. And you get to file a business tax, but it's like, as I've been weighing my options all day, and I even asked y'all on Instagram if y'all have suggestions about that, especially if you're in the beauty industry uh, and you have your LLC or S corporation set up, which one is more best for somebody at the beginning of the game? I'm leaning after looking at hours worth of stuff today. I'm on the decline of starting up as an LLC. And hopefully... Uh, I can change. I still got to go by trying to figure out what happens. Darn, I put I plugged in my charger and it looked like I got yellow as fuck, honey. I hope it doesn't look like that on camera. But let me see what I t when I take this thing out. Darn, my whole skin. Okay, y'all just gonna have to deal with me looking yellow because this darn old battery getting low, honey. Yeah, y'all see how it just changed the darn on color background? Oh, Lord. I swear I'm going to get back to recording from the phone someday. But not today. Not today, baby. I don't got time to be trying to uh get the darn on lawn chair up in the house and setting up the darn on phone. Not today. But like I said, I think I, I, I start off small with it. Uh, a limited liability company. And even that's going to take some time. It'd be costly. Although it would have been nice to get some of the extra stuff darn on paid off and reimbursed first. But and since I already know I'm going to be purchasing stuff down the road, I'm just going to have to take some things as a loss for now. It's like, once again, it, it, I, I don't see the LLCs 
um, being able to be set up no less than two months. I don't know how long it's going to take the process, especially since I don't got a storefront. <laughs> you know, I'm still darn on freelance. So that's another problematic thing to it. Another reason why I leaned away from an S corporation because an S corporation, when you're putting yourself on payroll, your payroll, you just can't put yourself on any type of pay. Like you just can't say, oh, I'm just going to pay myself $200. No, it's like you are required to lease at the minimum pay what the standard industry rate in, in the state for your job is. And for an institution, it's $41,000 a year. So obviously $200 a week ain't going to cut it. So that's another reason why I'm not doing S Corp right now. But I'm wondering, how do I transfer over from an LLC to an S Corp? Because I'm thinking in the macro of when I do start making a substantial amount of money, when I start exceeding two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 a month, and I can put myself on a sufficient payroll and it'd be more beneficial for me to be an escort. Uh, I, I need to look into the process of then switching over from the LLC to the escort. So that's the, the debacle that I've been going back and forth with all day. In addition to, you know, somebody else, it looked like they got, they done got my house that I was looking at, honey. And I'm pissed off because it was so close to the school and, it was only $600 a month. And I told y'all I was even willing to put down three months in advance. Somebody got that shit. I said, hi, damn. Now here's another one. Now this time I went and jumped on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. Hey, 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 hey. Because now I got the money. I didn't want to make no offer on the last one too early. I still put in a, a you know an inquiry, but I didn't put in a, a full-on request. Because it's like, I didn't know the situation about this darn old money because, you know, they they was trying to deny me for the longest. And then, like I said, even yesterday, I, I, I seen two darn old things saying that was still delaying. It wasn't until I called and got confirmation that no, it's an error. And then later on, the card came that day. I wasn't even expecting the card to come until like um, next week. So it, it's just been a blessing. A blessing and now my wheels are turning now i got a whole nother stress i've been stressing about this money all this time and now i got the money i'm still stressed but in a happy way now i'm strategically trying to plan out how to spend the money without just frivolously spending on knickknacks and stuff now granted i actually do need to update some of my wardrobe like you know i don't worn my pants out hope i got holes in certain pants honey I don't walk the soles off of one of my shoes and then my other shoe is starting to break down. So I need to do splurge on two darn on good quality running shoes, honey. So it's stuff that I desperately do need. But as far as other stuff like the wig, the makeup and all that, honey, that, that that's after we get business and stuff together. So I've been darn on my wheels turning on this business front. So I think I'm going to go to 5RR. Yeah, I'm very frugal like that, honey. I ain't, you know, I don't need nothing too fancy for my logo design and shit. Uh, I need a, a good logo. I need a trademark because I think I might still go through the process of going through the trademark and all that. Um, and yeah, and I got to see how that works with trademarks and all of that or is it still too soon for me to do a trademark but at the very minimal i do need at least a logo like i do need a logo because it's like i'm too early in the game for for me to worry about somebody trying to cop diva wine style honey. so I don't, I don't think i have to worry too tough with somebody trying to cop my but because of my name the name that i want to change it to um I, I I seen it could be problematic where I, I definitely might need to see about um uh, whether I can trademark it because there are some other businesses that have the name but in the reverse. Uh it's a slight letter difference and y'all know even with a slight letter difference, you know, sometimes it might be too close to a um to the name of another company and they might not let you do the trademark. So I got to see how that works, honey. 
or they might let me just do the state but not federal because this um the the businesses that i'm seeing that is similar to the name of what i want my spa to be is in different states they're not in north carolina so it's like they might grant me the state trademark, but I won't be able to get federal trademark. So it's a toss up there. But all that's long into the future. It's like right now, honey, we ain't even got a darn on location for the darn on spot. We still freelance. So it's like a one. Okay, let, let's think about more immediate problems. Let's think about, okay, next problem that I've been having. I've been looking at secure credit cards to apply for. I thought about going through the credit unions in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Ooh, it don't look too nice. <laughs> Honey, I've been looking at these darn on credit unions in Fayetteville. Honey, I'm hearing some fucked up reviews, honey. I thought about Brag Mutual, but honey, Brag Mutual. Oh, God. <laughs> and then one that start with it is Sharana Sharana. Not my name, but Sharala or something like that. Mm. I'm like, damn, it should not be this hard. And then I thought about One United. And I'm hearing some shit about the One United. I said, God damn. I should have kept my account with them too. Yeah, I, I don't let them go. I, I, I and once again, it wasn't on nothing personal. It's just I wasn't utilizing my darn on account like that. I so said I don't let them go. Now I'm thinking about going back, just get the car. But honey, it's like, ugh, it shouldn't be this hard just to find a secure. If y'all got some secure card recommendations, I, I first Premier Bank is a no. So let me let me tell y'all that right now. Capital One, I just paid them off, so I don't know how they, <laughs> child, I don't know how they will think about darn going to give me a credit, uh, uh, a secure credit card, and I just paid them off just two seconds ago. Maybe because it's secure, they might darn going to go, but they, they got that high darn on 30% darn on um, uh, uh, tax or whatever. Not tax, but what's the word I'm looking for? Annual fee, that 30%? Oh, no. I, I, I've I seen some more comfortable around 15, 16, 17. So I'm still looking around these other um, places in Fayetteville. And hopefully I find one where, you know, with my credit, I can get one for maybe about 17, 20%. And go from there. But yeah, that's basically everything in a nutshell <laughs> i've been stressing all day about this darn on credit card because i want to be because now that i done t basically got everything together my student loans are about are in the forbearance and i don't paid off my other credit cards i don't um i don't got no dire medical bills out, out behind like except for the one for when i passed out at uh, pilgrims and I, they ain't getting no twenty eight hundred dollars out of me. I, I shit, that that's that's going to forever be on the credit report till it drops off. I don't give a fuck. I ain't paying twenty eight hundred dollars of y'all. No. And if y'all want to know more about that, y'all go to the darn on um, um business channel to learn about that issue right there. But I ain't paying that one. So that's basically everything I have. Like I don't got no evictions on my thing. Like the one eviction that I had that got taken off my credit report. Uh, because of the fact that he was a slum lord and all the drama that happened in that trailer park, honey, they took that off my darn on credit report. So it's like I don't have now. It's just like I just need something on the asset, and I, I somebody recommended darn on Linda, but it's like, honey, I, I I don't need necessarily uh because Linda is like a certificate of deposit of sorts, uh. I don't need to establish like a, a a credit history in the sense of a new account. It's like I'm trying to darn on rebuild my account. So it's not that I have a lack of credit history. That's what darn on lenders basically good for, uh, for people who really just don't have no kind of credit history at all. Me, I got 
of a very complex credit history. That's where I'm at. And I'm trying to build myself back up. So I know the best thing for me is to get uh, one credit, not multiple, because this is what gets people in trouble. You try to get darn on four, five credit cards all at one time. And then as soon as the next person look at your credit report on a different day, honey, they see all the uh, recent inquiries. Honey, it makes you look desperate. Uh, like it's better to just get one credit card for a thousand dollars versus trying to get one for uh, they get five for darn on two hundred. That's how I think. Nor do you want, uh, and I believe, and I was looking at somebody's uh, YouTube channel today um, by the name of Eight Fifty. His channel is literally called Eight Fifty Credit. Um, you don't want to go too high either. Like you don't want to be at ten thousand. Like child, if I could darn on get one for ten thousand dollars, that'll defeat the purpose. It's like shit. I'd be able to darn on get me a darn on car. That's another thing I've been stressing about. Like and why I was trying to go through the credit union is because. The financing and stuff is a lot more reasonable um, through the credit union. Especially if you um dealing with used cars, like, and when, when I talk about used with me, I'm talking about, I ain't talking about no $1990, uh, I mean 2000 Pinto. I'm talking about like a 2014, 2015. Um, that can be considered used. So, been trying to think of who is the best darn on credit union in Fayetteville, North Carolina that I can look at for a secure um, card and also especially this house that I put in. Another thing, I seen another house. I told y'all earlier, I done jumped on this one and are going to um, ask for a call back. It's around the same price, two bedrooms, two baths. Um, not too far, but it's it is slightly out of walking distance for me to get to the university because of the location. It's and it's not looking like it, it, it could be within the bus route, but it's in one of those complex neighborhoods where it's like it's so many uh, turns and with me being new, I mean granted I do have my UPS I mean not UPS but GPS on the phone. And of course y'all know I got my fans going. That's why I'm in those <laughs> Stay darn on stopped up, y'all. But granted, I do have my GPS on the phone. It's like, mm. and then of course Uber gets costly. It's like I'm only making nine twenty five at the damn school. Uh, thirty hours a week. I own shit. I be spent half my money just doing doing Uber expenses. It's like it'd be better off if I just get a damn car. And of course, I told y'all I'm going back to the school. Simply because I love to be out the house at this point and be around the people. Uh, definitely not for the damn month, for the time being. So until I get my aesthetics together and until, you know, something happened, maybe with total life changes or something else, but I definitely need me a business opportunity at this point. Uh, so either or, you know, the, to uh, the TLC will darn going to work out for me. Um, definitely, you know, I know regardless, my status is going to work out for me regardless. It's just a matter of time. And then, unfortunately, uh, I need to be more stable now, not six months down the road. Because the status is going to take, I don't see it necessarily for me, especially since they talk about maybe another shit down in the fall. So, this this year is just a loss, son. Y'all, I'm just prepping for 2021 at this point. But honey, if I can get me some darn on little tax write-offs, honey, I, I I definitely need the darn on look, and especially since they said um, the expenses of you know getting the LLC is all 100% wrong, refundable as well. So even though it might cost upwards of $300 for the LLC paperwork and you know the trade uh, the cost for the trademark, which that's going to be only about $10, $15 through 5RR.com. Uh, the website fee, the monthly fee for your websites, your booking, and all that, honey, all that can be written off. And I don't think you need a stable location or none of that for the LLC in the beginning part of the game. So um, it's only when you become an S Corp that's when you have to deal with, you know, putting yourself on payroll, having your business account, and all that good stuff. But like I said, I'm looking more into it on that end. The house, I'm hope I definitely hoping they give me a call back on this one. 
Like, honey, I just figure out that darn on bus schedule and that Uber. I just alternate between the two until we look into a good darn on car loan, honey. Because I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Like, the, the, if she tried to start with me this morning on some darn on bullshit, I, 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 I need to get the fuck up out of here. So, yeah, that is it, y'all. Like I said, I am finally darn on set. Now I'm, my wheels are turning on how I'm going to properly spend this darn on money in a way where I can darn on see 10 times as much. That's the darn on dope. Okay, y'all had to blow my nose real quick, but that's basically it. Last two things I need to think of. Oh, finally going to um look into purchasing my computer when phase two opens up. When phase two opens up, I'm going to get my computer in because once again, this job, I love it, but I feel like I got something in my teeth, y'all. But anyways, I love it, but it ain't really paying like that. <laughs> and it's like, honey, I, how much I love y'all at the schoolhouse. Whenever we do get ba get ready to come back, honey, I need something else. So I need I need to get me at least a 23-inch screen monitor, 22 or 23-inch. And because they was actually darn on hiring for um, unemployment assistance, but, you know, my screen, once again, didn't meet the requirements. So it's like I'm so sick of that darn on uh, where I'm basically approved, but my darn on uh, laptop is not approved. So yeah, that's the first purchase that I'm making. Yeah, I, I definitely. So everything that I'm purchasing is actually uh, a need. It's like I need some darn on clothes. It's like I don't want, like I said, when you get to the point where you don't walk the soles off certain shoes, it's like, bitch, it's time for you to invest in some good quality shoes. Uh, when your laptop keeps getting denied for darn gone jobs, it's time to go ahead and invest in a darn gone work computer for these jobs that are paying $13, $14, $15 an hour and 40 hours a day a week. Especially with me trying to get the fuck up out of here and have my own house to myself. Because once again, this extra seven, uh, 700 some dollars a week, this is just temporary. I got to think about when this shit's going to end. And then it might end in June for me. I don't know. Uh, Especially with, you know, them potentially lifting us in uh, June 5th. So I don't know how that'll work for me with the PUA. So once again, I'm blessed just with the amount that they gave me right now and for, you know, this upcoming week. Uh, so that's a good thing to get the ball rolling. But I now need to think about how to maintain after, you know, this. So that's where I'm at with it. A lot of things to do. Uh, short period of time i know i keep sounding like i'm repeating myself every video but we progressing more and more of every video nonetheless like i said we, we keep speaking into existence y'all want to see it come so the house hopefully we get a good offer on this one right here then i have to deal with you know um the cost of the movers to get my stuff in here it's just one room so it shouldn't be that much and then I had to take out another, well, that's where the credit's going to be built because I got to have at least a little bit of piece of furniture in the living room. And then at this house, and that's what I loved about the first house that I put an offer on, uh, well, the inquiry, because I didn't get to put an offer on it. But the first one actually came with a washer and dryer in the house. This one doesn't. So it's like I got to get me a washer and dryer. I've been seeing some affordable ones uh, for like four or 500. So that won't be no earable spits or anything so yeah y'all hopefully in the next month or so especially since this one saying it's available as soon as june versus the last one was available july 15th so with that being said oh my goodness we might be doggone packing up as soon as three weeks from now honey we can only hope and we can only hope that I'll be calling darn on PWC to see what the deposit's going to be for the darn on plates. Huh? And then, you know, transfer my darn on cable and shit over. But in the meantime, in between time, that is it, y'all. I can't think of nothing else that I need to share with y'all right now. So that is it. Oh, if you have any, um, my beauticians, any beauticians that follow me, if y'all have any suggestions on the LLC, definitely leave it down below. Um, and that's it for now. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.